This is Thrust SSC, the only car ever to break the sound barrier. Averaging 600 kilometers per hour over two lengths of the most expensive measured mile in history. Ever since Richard Noble broke the land speed record in Thrust 1, he has dreamed of going one better and building a supersonic car, a mission some had said was impossible. I said right at the beginning to Richard, this is totally impractical. Don't even try it. Thrust SSC was designed by former missile designer Ron Ayres. Weighing in at a massive 10 tonnes and powered by two Rolls-Royce jet engines producing over 100,000 horsepower, its revolutionary design was inspired by fighter jets. The car needed huge metal front wheels to support its massive 10-tonne weight, and steering them was impossible. However, an ingenious and controversial solution was found, rear-wheel drive. I had some extremely hostile uh, reactions to it. Various learned professors who said it wouldn't work. Almost in, I'm saying desperation, but as a last resort, we, I, I, I felt that we had to build some kind of a demonstration vehicle and steer by the rear wheels and not the front. One of the rear wheels was placed slightly ahead of the other, so they would fit within Thrust's narrow tail. The designers then attempted to steer the Mini at speed. Thankfully for them, it worked. One of the greatest challenges was to ensure that when the car reached speeds in excess of 1,200 kilometers per hour, it would not flip over. Using computer simulation, they found that as Thrust SSC approached the sound barrier, a huge shockwave would build up at the front of the car, threatening its stability. So in the second, more practical test, a model of the car was shot down a track at supersonic speeds. After analysing data from sensors and high-speed cameras, Noble and his team were confident that the car would remain firmly grounded. Once the design was finalised, Noble had to find two suitable jet engines, and luckily, the British Air Force had a couple for sale. The government paid something of the order of about one and a half million for each of them. Uh, we paid, well, rather less. This is actually a hell of a moment for us because we've been going two and a half years in computer studies and simulations and so on. And now today we're actually going to start running the engines, we're going to make a filthy noise and we're going to see parts of the car work. The two Rolls-Royce engines would eventually give Thrust SSC the power of a thousand family saloons. We tried to make this the absolutely perfect project. We did two and a half years of research and of course we got very, very good results. The question, of course, in everybody's mind is, are the results going to be credible when we actually get here? Is the full-scale car going to behave as the research model behaved? If it doesn't behave like the research model, what on earth do we do? This time, Noble will not be behind the wheel of his record-breaking car. That task falls to Andy Green, a British Air Force fighter pilot. Who is going to drive a twin-jet supersonic vehicle? That's what I do as a day job. I can do that. With each run consuming fuel worth an incredible £20,000, not only will this be the fastest measured mile in history, but also the most expensive. We have been over half a million in the red. So, you know, you're on the verge of bankruptcy most of the time. That's the only way in which you can keep this project going. After many failed and aborted runs that put the project in financial jeopardy, Andy Green is ready to make history. The station SSC ready to roll. SSC, clear to roll. 100, 150, up to 400 for the active, 410 to throttle back, 400 for 20 until 4 miles to go, throttle back 350. Even at this remote location, Thrust SSC has pulled in an audience of appreciative speed junkies. Moving at almost the speed of sound, the car seems to be travelling in silence. The sonic boom is the confirmation of success that everybody is waiting for. Yes! 
For the record to stand, the car has to be turned round within an hour, so Andy Green can repeat the run in the opposite direction. You have to run with it like that. Don't worry, you're going to do it as well. Yeah, OK, let's do it then. He's rolling. The timings are radioed in by the official adjudicators. Over two legs, Thrust SSC has averaged a speed of 1,230 kilometers per hour. Noble realized his seemingly impossible dream, and Thrust SSC broke through the sound barrier, a feat which has never been repeated. I've never actually seen a land speed record car run for because I'd always been in it. And up to five and six hundred and fifty, that was fairly straightforward. But once we were up in the seven hundreds and seven fifties, it seriously frightened me. It's the ultimate in land speed record breaking, a genuine world first that for all of us is going to be one of the highlights of our lives.